Welcome to my course on Genome Editing and Engineering. Today we are going to discuss about Talon, which is a editing technology little bit different from the last technology that we discussed, the zinc finger nucleases. The word Talon is also a hybrid between Tel effectors and the word uh, nuclease. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the basics of this technology platform. So, we will start with a discussion with tail effectors, their biology and how these tail effectors are finally fused with nucleus proteins to produce artificially made talents. So, let us start with one uh, interesting molecule which has been listed as molecule of the month at the time of recording this uh, lecture. So, every month uh, protein data bank uh, highlights a, mol a protein molecule or a, a complex as a molecule of the month. So, this month the non-homologous adjoining super complexes has been listed by PDB uh, as such. You know about uh, the DNA double strand break mechanisms and how the DNA double strand breaks are repaired by the cellular mechanisms. Uh, amongst them, the NSEJ is one of the major uh, players. And uh, this molecule is also complex is also important from the point of view of uh, the talent technology, uh, because once we use talent to induce uh, defined double strand breaks on DNA sequences, it has to undergo repair either by the homology uh, repair pathway or the NSEJ uh, pathway. Similarly, a few years back in uh, 2014, uh, PDB listed uh, these TAL effectors in December 2014 as the uh, molecule of the month. Today, we are going to spend uh, our time in discussing uh, at large about these uh, TAL effectors. So, what are these TAL effectors? So, TAL uh, stands for transcription, uh, transcription activator like uh, effectors and these are produced by several types of bacteria who inject these proteins into uh, plant cells. Uh, the tails reach the plant cell nucleus and activate genes uh, that make the host uh, susceptible to infection. So, uh, they are uh, infectious entities. However, during the course of evolution as a response to infection by bacteria and the repertory of tails they use in the pathogenic mechanism, uh, plant cells have evolved a way to resist this attack and when such plants are injected with tal effectors, uh, they immediately activate special uh, resistant genes uh, that protect the uh, plant. Uh, we will not be discussing about this defense mechanism because our interest is just restricted to the use of TAL effectors in the development of the TALEN technology platform. But we will discuss uh, slowly about the TAIL biology and how they are involved uh, in the pathogenicity. These TAL effectors uh, bind to double stranded DNA to a central domain of uh, tandem repeats. So, we are going to repeat these uh, tendon repeats again and again and there will be a lot of redundancies in this discussion, but uh, they are important uh, from the conceptual uh, point of view. So, transcription activator like effectors uh, specifically bind to double stranded DNA through a central domain of tandem repeats. Uh, we have to remember the central domain of tandem repeats which is very very important for understanding the f function of uh, tail effectors. Uh, each of these tail uh, effector repeats comprises around um, on an average 34 amino acids and they recognize one specific DNA base uh, through a highly variable residue at a fixed position in the repeat. The amino acid sequences of the repeats are nearly identical uh, besides uh, amino acid position uh, 12 and 13. Uh, these are called as the repeat variable uh, dye residues. So, out of these 34 except 12 and 13, 
everything else is uh, identical. Uh, sequence uh, analysis and structural studies have revealed uh, the molecular basis of DNA recognition by the uh, tail repeats. So, repeats with uh, different RVDs uh, with different amino acids at the 12 and 13 positions. So, different DNA base pair preferences and consecutive RVDs in a tail correspond directly to the DNA sequence in the binding site resulting in a simple one repeat to one base pair code. The basic building block of tail protein uh, we have to remember is a uh, helical uh, hairpin. Uh, tail proteins contain a series of uh, alpha uh, helical hairpins arranged in uh, a continuity or tandem. Each of these alpha helical hairpin domain of tail proteins uh, binds an individual DNA base as we have already discussed. Overall, a single tail protein would recognize a very long uh, specific uh, DNA uh, sequence. Uh, on this right, you can see a space filling drawing of a tal effector bound to double helical uh, DNA uh, which is colored in orange and the uh, DNA reading domains of the tal effector is being uh, sewn in uh, blue uh, which is wrapped around uh, DNA. Let us learn a little bit about the discovery of tail who are the people who discovered tail. In 210, two groups who were uh, working uh, independently and uh, in plant pathology, one led by uh, Bogdanov at the Iowa State University and the other by uh, Jens Bock uh, at the Martin Luther University uh, in Germany found out the role of tail in causing infection in plants by pathogenic bacteria gentomonas and they also deciphered the mechanism of how these tal effectors recognizes uh, host uh, DNA. Uh, the list of tal effector factors are quite uh, large and you can see here uh, some of them uh, listed in column 1 and each tal effector uh, has a particular target gene. Uh, to which uh, it would go and uh, bind and uh, they are part of a target gene uh, family and if you are interested to know about the details of each effector you can go to the uh, papers published uh, by the original authors and uh, the full references are available in this uh, publication by Debetol. Let us just focus on one or two uh, of these. Uh, for example, you have a factor called Tal B and it and another called Tal C. Uh, Tal C, uh, the target gene is OS suite uh, 14, one of the very, very famous uh, uh, genes. Then you have others like uh, PTH XO, so and this also binds to OS suite 11, and then others like uh, AVR XA7, AVR uh, XA23, and uh, they target various members of different uh, gene uh, families. So, these particular uh, bacteria uh, which is an infectious agent uh, enters the plant leaf uh, through the stomata or uh, any mechanical wounds uh, caused by uh, maybe insect injury or other mechanical injury and then spread within the crop uh, by mechanical contact or by uh, rain and uh, irrigation water. And when uh, it finds a favorable warm wet condition, uh, the uh, organism will cause rapid and severe disease uh, in the uh, plant. And these are some of the symptoms you can see in, in some of the uh, host uh, species. Uh, for example, in Philodendron, uh, you can see the uh, bacterial leaf blight caused by Gentomonas campristis. And you can see the clear uh, symptom over here. And this is uh, the cereal crop rice uh, in which the bacterial uh, blight has happened due to infection by Gentomonas oryzae, uh, Petrover oryzae. Uh, this uh, organism uh, is very important uh, in the uh, understanding of the tail uh, effectors.
In general, uh, Gentomulus includes a large group of plant pathogenic gram negative bacteria, uh, which in fact more than 200 different plant species and we will show you only just uh, two of them in the earlier slide. And they rely uh, on various effectors secreted through different types of protein secretion systems. Uh, in particular, the type 3 secretion system T3SS uh, to suppress host immunity and obtain uh, nutrients uh, from the plants. Uh, in Origia, uh, Gentomulus origi, uh, the T3SS effectors are grouped into two types uh, transcription activator like effectors and uh, non tails, which are also called. Uh, gentomulus outer proteins or uh, jobs. So, we know that tails are virulence factors of the plant pathogen uh, gentomulus and these are translocated via a type 3 secretion system inside the plant cell and once inside the plant cell these tails are subsequently imported into the nucleus where they bind to specific DNA sequences and transcriptionally activate uh, gene expression and uh, most of the times uh, these causes susceptibility in the host. But sometimes the plant uh, uh, as a response to this type of infections uh, will uh, produce some kind of a defense system and these very uh, tails may in fact bind to the immune uh, response genes and help the plant in fighting of the infection. We are not going to discuss on that part uh, much in this uh, particular lecture. Uh, let us have a uh, uh, little bit of detailed view of the rice, uh, gentlemanus origi, petrobar origi or Jew interaction uh, with uh, focus on effectors uh, during uh, pathogenesis. Uh, the effector proteins uh, secreted via the uh, type 3 secretion system. Uh, this is the type 2 secretion system. Uh, we are not going to study about it. Uh, we are going to study about only the type 3 uh, secretion system. So, the effectors T3 effectors which are uh, secreted uh, via the type 3 uh, secretion system. You can see these uh, T3 effectors and these are actually pumped inside the plant cell uh, through these uh, beautiful uh, apparatus. So, these are directly delivered into the plant cell cytoplasm and these effectors consist of uh, TAL effectors uh, which are DNA binding proteins that upregulate plant genes leading to further susceptibility. Uh, you can see over here and then classical example is uh, sweet gene upregulation in uh, Jew rice. Uh, interaction. Another class of uh, T3S effectors, the non tal effectors are involved in dampening the uh, immune response by targeting defense signaling pathways working directly or indirectly by binding to uh, plant proteins. So, this is uh, the pathway by which the immune response is uh, triggered. The plant would counter these effectors using multiple mechanisms and it involves the executor R genes whose transcription is activated by tal effectors leading to strong immune response and resistance. And by resistance proteins that target effectors uh, directly or indirectly. So, let us learn a little bit about the bacterial protein uh, secretion system. We already know that there are at least two such systems, the T2 SS and the T3 SS. Uh, bacteria deploy a uh, multiple uh, array of secretion systems and uh, we can divide uh, them into different classes based on their structure, function and specificity. So, some of the systems are conserved in all classes of bacteria. We secrete a bound broad area of substrates while others are only found in a small number of bacterial species and are specific to only one or a few uh, proteins. So, you can see here so many different types wipe 1, 2, 3, uh, 4, 5, 6 and 7 and uh, all of them are different uh, and uh, some of them can be grouped 
uh, into larger groups. So, in uh, general protein secretion uh, uh, from a bacteria is a two step method. So, here sac or that is involved uh, in the first uh, transportation step and we call it the sac or tet dependent uh, mechanism. So, here the proteins, proteins will cross the uh, inner membrane with the help of either the sac or tet secretion pathways and then they will land up here in this uh, uh, periplasm and from here they are transported across the outer membrane using a uh, second uh, secretion uh, system. Okay. So, this is a two step sac or tet dependent uh, mechanism of uh, protein transport. Many gram negative protein secretion system transport their substrate across both bacterial membranes in a one step sac or tet independent process. Sac or tet is a two step uh, transportation system, but some of the uh, bacteria uh, do not use that particular system. It uses a one step sac or tet independent uh, process and such systems are uh, okay. the pathways uh, of the secretion system uh, T1, uh, T3, uh, T4 uh, uh, and T6 contain the periplasm spanning channels and secret proteins from the cytoplasm outside the cell. Uh, however, the mechanisms are quite uh, different. Uh, three of these the T3, uh, uh, the T4 and the T6 can also transport protein across an additional host membrane. So, this is this membrane belongs to the host and these three transportation systems can inject uh, through the host uh, cell wall or uh, membrane and deliver the secreted proteins directly into the cytosol of the uh, target cell. So, let us see uh, a little bit in detail about the various uh, secretion system of gentomonas and their functions. Um, so, the T2 system uh, is responsible for host cell wall degradation, T1 is responsible for addition to host cell uh, and extracellular matrix, uh, T6 is uh, involved with the microbial uh, competition and T5 addition to host cell uh, and auto aggregation and biofilm production. And then the bacterial uh, competition, bacterial conjugation uh, is uh, carried out by the T4 SS. Amongst all these, uh, the T3 SS is involved with the host cell manipulation and phytopathogenesis, and this is the focus of our uh, study. So, you can see here all these systems have. Uh, diverse uh, components and uh, mechanisms. Uh, we are uh, focusing our discussion on the T3 uh, secretion system and uh, the gentomonas uh, T3 secretion system contains a HRP hypersensitive response and pathogenicity gene that encodes T3 secretion uh, system. The HRP type 3 secretion system is essential for pathogenicity of most gentomonas except uh, xylem restricted uh, gentomonas uh, albinillians. So, uh, this uh, T3 uh, secretion system spans both bacterial membranes and is extended by a hollow conduit the HRP pilus uh, that traverses the plant uh, cell wall. Uh, bacterial effector proteins are secreted through these T3. Uh, secretion system and translocated into the plant cell cytoplasm via bacterial translocation complex that inserts into the pl uh, plant uh, plasma uh, membrane. Interference of uh, type 3 effector proteins with plant cellular uh, pathways uh, happens. So, uh, in A you can see the type 3 effectors uh, elicit and suppress plant defense responses, plant pathogenic bacteria translocate effector proteins via the T3 uh, secretion system into the plant cells uh, through that pilus. In resistant plants, individual effectors are directly 
or indirectly recognized by corresponding plant R proteins or uh, activate the plant R genes and which elicits a defense response and these are designated as uh, the ETI. The indirect recognition of effector proteins by plant R proteins depends on effector mediated uh, modifications of the plant target proteins which are sensed by matching R proteins. Uh, several type 3 effectors suppress the ETI and or uh, PTI responses and thus promote uh, bacterial virulence. PTI responses are triggered upon recognition of bacterial pumps by plant PRRs and do not only interfere with pathogen survival but can also affect T3 secretion mediated delivery of the effector proteins. This is the overview on known plant targets of type, type 3 effectors. Uh, the translocated effector proteins interfere with the assembly of uh, cytoskeleton, then uh, MAPK uh, uh, cascades and then uh, gene expression, uh, proteasome dependent protein degradation or hormone uh, signaling pathway. So, this particular uh, T3S system uh, is a conduit for so many different functions happening inside the uh, host uh, plant. Uh, let us now uh, briefly uh, look into the role uh, the tail effectors play in the bacterial infection uh, which was first identified in Genthomonas in Ralstonia. We already know that these tail effectors are produced by pathogenic bacteria and they infect over around 200 uh, different plant species. Uh, these tail effector genes are ubiquitous in members of the genus Genthomonas and Ralstonia and have apparent critical functions in a number of uh, diseases. And uh, the tail proteins are injected into plant cell which enter the nucleus via alpha or uh, beta importance. There they play roles as transcription factors by activating expression of target genes to promote susceptibility of suppressed effector triggered immunity ETI of plants to facilitate uh, bacterial uh, infection. The tail effectors bind to DNA specific site by DNA binding domain and with the activator domain it regulates gene expression. Major virulent tails uh, from Ju activates the expression of multiple rice sweet genes to promote susceptibility and TAL7 from Jock activates the expression of uh, OS09 Z2900 to uh, suppress the AVRX7 induced uh, resistance in rice. So, we know that the TAL effectors bind to DNA specific site by a DNA binding domain and with the activator domain it regulates a gene expression. Both Ju and Jock harbor large tail repertories usually exceeding 8 in Ju isolates and over 20 in and around 20 in Jock isolates. The number of the tails present in a particular gentleman species or strain varies from uh, none to uh, several. The transcription activator like effectors uh, in gentomonas uh, AVR BS3 uh, PTHA are the largest effector family in gentomonas species and was identified by Robert Stahl and co workers in 1990 at the University of Florida. The AVR BS3 was the first isolated member of the type 3 effector proteins. Uh, in gentlemanous species. Uh, the term tail effector was introduced uh, much later in uh, 2006 to describe the large family of uh, type 3 effector genes uh, related to AVRBS3 from what was known at the time as Xenthomonas campristis uh, petover uh, vesicate aurea. So, with this uh, we come to the end of our uh, party. Uh, thank you. In the last part we will be discussing about the various domains uh, in the tail uh, effector proteins. Mm -hmm.